this is our second attempt. Yeah, we had an angry child screaming. Wanted some of that tit juice, you know? Absolutely. I had to get on that nipple, but it is what it is. All right. But, babies uh, be babies. All right. No, he's talking about himself. Um, what'd you do this weekend? Uh, worked on Saturday and Sunday, actually. So it was weird. He's working, he's watching fights. I mean, yeah, it's weird that the fights were on during the day on Saturday, so I had those playing while uh, pies weren't in the store. So I was watching the fights between customers. No, those guys with the steroids, remember? Uh, Who's flexing for you? Do you remember that day? I have no idea what you're talking about. Where those, like, two crackheads came to the store? And they're oh, like, they're yeah, yeah. Were you there? Yeah, I was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was funny. I don't okay. know why you're here if you don't know anything. You're like, I just don't support steroids. <laughs> Yeah, that dude was pissed me off, man. And then, um, Sunday at work, they went down to see Kat, because she's going back from Greece. Ooh. So that was cool. Looks better. She brought me back some Greek liquor called Mystic- Mystica. Yeah, I've seen that. Which was cool. So um, I haven't tried that yet. I'm going to just save that for a special... I attempted to see The Lion King. Attempted. Kids got scared, had to leave. Or it was more of a mixture. One was scared and one wouldn't shut up. I heard this one sucks compared to the cartoon. It was okay. It's killing the box off. I heard it's weird because, like, in the original, when Scar's, like, singing, he's got, like, all the, like, hyenas and the green lights and stuff. Yeah. This is just, like, he's on a rock. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. It's a lion singing on a rock. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, though. Like, it's... it's. Well, like I said, this movie has potential to be the biggest movie ever made. I heard Timon and Puma killed it. Yeah, I, I didn't get that far. Oh, yeah, you left. So, what do you rank what you saw? Was it good? Is it worth it? 7 out of 10. Yeah, I want to see Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's I what do. I want to do this weekend. We could. We should have went to see them in the afternoon instead of record for these fellas. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, basically, Brady doesn't care about you people, is what you say. Just kidding. I am down to see it at 12 tomorrow, though, if you want. Might be possible. Yeah, All so. right, we're talking about movies. All right, um. Fights. Let's lots of the, happening this week. Talk about the one championship card. Let's talk about the, yeah, let's talk about the card. Uh, I was sitting at work. And I was on this boring 9-to-5 shift. Jordan always says it shifts hard. I'm like, not really. Anyway, pussies be pussies. Um, <laughs> anyway, I was sitting there, so bored. Just bored. And anyway, I pull up my phone, and on YouTube, they're showing one championship. Now, I'm not on the channel. It's weird. Yeah. Uh, yeah and was I it illegally being streamed or something? No, or? it was like actual company oh, for the U.S. because they're Asian uh, yeah, broadcast. Yeah. Okay. And I pull it up, and I'm like, holy crap, Demetrius just won. Okay, Demetrius just won. I didn't get to see the fight, but... Uh, I see. I think he won unanimous decision. Yeah, he won unanimous. Had a struggle in the first round, I guess. Makes it to the finals of the Featherweight Grand Prix. He has a beast he's fighting, though. I mean, he's, it's Demetrius Johnson. He's going to whip that, that ass. That's true. And uh, then, <sighs> great. Probably the, one of the best minute and a half fights I've ever seen that in my insane. life. That was Eddie Alvarez, man. Uh, it was... Old school Eddie fight. Like, Eddie gets rocked. But he didn't get rocked. His leg just gave up because he got hit with a hard leg kick. He yeah. wasn't rocked. I thought they were going to stop it, though. From a leg kick? No, when he was getting pounded, though. Oh, uh, like, yeah. So he got leg kicked, and then his leg gave out, and then took a couple shots from uh, ground to pound, and then he fl- reversed it, flipped him over, took the guy's back, choked him out. Amazing. Underground King is back. It was actually a good performance. Yeah, and now he's in the finals of the lightweight Grand Prix. And in Asia, that's a great win. That is a great win. That's top five lightweight in their country. Fair enough. Um, Duty Beat was from the Philippines and they were fighting in Manila, which is kind of cool. So the crowd was like not happy about that. And uh, he was a former champ. Yep. So good win there. Um, we got a. The co I didn't get to see the co main, but I heard oh. you talk about was this Iron Man? This was Iron Man. Okay. Like his name is like Ro John. Ro something. I don't know. Honestly, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. They're hard to pronounce. Yeah. Bo, Ro, Botang, I think it's Road John Botang or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, stud, stud man. Him and that uh, he was actually not the champ. He was coming there as a challenger. The first two rounds, the dude from England was like longer and taller, but taller. So was, sure. was this the Muay Thai fight? Yeah, this was uh, the featherweight Muay Thai championship. So yeah, the English fighter was like just like beating with range, like front kicks and just jabs and kind of like like scoring points, but not really hurting them, right? Third round, Botang just, Rotang, Rotang, that's the name, just beasted on him, won that round pretty big, and then in the fourth round, I think he dropped him, 
Mm-hmm. And so we won that round big. And then the fifth round, I scored for the other guy. Other guy. So I had it uh, a draw. Three. Uh, it was because three rounds to two rounds to an extra point, even even scorecard. But in one championship, they don't have draws, which is weird. So That's they not bad. so they scored damage. So Rotang won the fight. Not bad at all. I don't know how I feel about that. <clears throat> I don't. That might be our uh, debate question this week. Mm. Should there be draws in combat sports? I think there shouldn't be draws. There should be an extra round added. That's a extra round is a good idea. Or why not? If it's a draw, just there should be in a contract automatic rematch. Yeah, because if you look at the actually the round it added, they're kind of like at that point where they're already no more adrenaline. Yeah, and like in the street situation, like you're not scoring at ten. 10 points, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, you just go till someone loses. Yeah. So it's like, what? I don't know, it's hard to say. It's because it, at some point it has to be a sport. So, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Absolutely. And then in the main event, did you watch this? I did not. I think his name's Martin Nguyen. Yeah, Martin Nguyen. Oh, well, I've seen him fight, yeah. Is the featherweight, yeah, 145 featherweight champion over there at one. He's taking on a Kilkushin karate black belt, good wrestler, Japanese guy. Uh, first round, Martin was in pr- some trouble. It took, got taken down a few times, got hit with some good right hands in the bottom. And then the third round, this guy just went super saiyan and just blasted that man with counter right hands and knocked him out. So it was, it was yeah, that guy's a shout out to Martin doing. He apparently he went up to lightweight, won the championship there. Yeah, he's had a couple belts. And then he tried to go down to 135 mm-hmm. and tried to get the triple champ. <laughs> and he's like, nah, it's just like, it was too much. Yeah. So but that's like two now. We've seen TJ Dillashaw try to go down to weight. And now this guy tried to go down to weight. Kills you. It's tough. It's hard on it. Even on drugs. Uh, um, <coughs> Shout out to PEDs and PED users. What is it? The, what does TJ get? Busted Corgan? EPO. EPO. Shout out to EPO. So yeah, I think we're going to cover more 1FC. Yeah, it looks pretty good. What do you, what do we got next? All right, we got the card that you watched too. Uh, we got Covington versus uh, Lawler. Oh, I was disappointed. I loved it. All right, what do we got? So <coughs> in the undercards prelims, we had uh, Shevchenko, not Bullet, and Tonina, her sister, the the brunette. Same division, probably both good. top ten. They're both good looking women. I don't actually. think Shevchenko is no. Or no. Valentina, I no. think she's pretty. E. But Antonina. Oh, Basically killed a woman, like choked this girl out, and the <laughs> I think yeah I'm pretty sure it was this fight. Uh, Herb Dean didn't see, or maybe it wasn't this. It was uh, no, it wasn't that fight. Hold on, but Antonina like choked the girl out bad. The girl went to sleep. I shout out to that girl for not tapping, getting choked mm-hmm. unconscious. So that was in- intense. She got hurt bad in the first round too. But I think she got split with split open with a couple. You're elves. talking about Miranda Granger versus Hannah Goldie? No, not looking. It's in the main card. There's no women there. It wasn't a girl fight. It was. Uh, I need to get two genders. Yeah, in my bad. Because there was two two people blacked out. I'm not like it's not very often you people go to sleep. Well, let's talk about Mickey Gal then. Mickey's Pretty a headline. clown. Did you watch the fight? No, I didn't. Um, he won a close fight. Like it was. Uh, I think it was. I heard it was a robbery, but I, I mean, the, both the guys took a beating. It was a war. Uh, Mickey Gall gets to win. Okay, cool. Home, it's hometown. I understand. He probably did edge it, but uh, point being, and then he goes and calls out Diego Sanchez. Bro, he's like, oh, I was hurt. I was injured. Diego, you thought you wanted to humble me, man. You didn't humble me. I was. Everyone knows I was injured and hurt. But he beat the living shit out of you, bro. We don't need to see that again. Move on, man. Diego stole your soul. He's a nightmare, okay? He stole your soul. You're a joke. You're claiming the famous beating up CM Punk. No one likes you. Move on. Next. Uh, Skull Tolzman versus Doug Maya. Or Dung Hung Scott Ma. Holtzman versus Dung Ma Ha. <laughs> Wait, where's his name? Dung, Dung Hung, Hung Ma. That was a war. That Dung Hung Ma is too tough for his own good. Um, after the second round, he couldn't see out of his yeah. left eye. I think it was his left eye. And the, they had to stop the fight. But that dude was taking some devastating <laughs> blows and was coming back with some of his own as well. Entertaining fight. Shout out to Dung, uh, Dung Hung Ma. Shout out to Scott Holtzman. Definitely would watch them again. Jared Mears. Gerald Mershart versus Tevin Giles. Trevin Giles. This is the fight I was confused with. So Mershart is uh, just a grappler. Good. Really good at what he does. Giles is like an all-around mixed martial artist. Um, close fight. Third round. Mershart got on top of him. In like some weird scramble. Grabbed his... So I think he let Tevin slam him so he could grab his neck. 
and got on the back of Tevin, choked him out, and Tevin tapped out on the far side of Herb Dean. Herb couldn't see. <laughs> and, um, uh, what's his name? Mershart. Mershart was like, yo, he just tapped. He's unconscious. He's like telling Herb. And Herb's like, oh, I didn't see. And like, and then Herb like grabs his arm, lifts it, and the guy's hand just like smashes up. So he was literally holding on to this choke for like three to four seconds after the guy was out cold. So it's kind of like sketchy. But, uh, luckily he was fine. He woke up. No problems. Nazrat. Uh, devastating knockout. He's an uh, upcoming prospect from uh, Frost Sahabi. And mm. uh, what's that gym called? TriStar. Yeah. So shout out to TriStar. Shout out to Nazareth. He's got a bright future. He's only like 22 or 23 years old. Yeah, he has a win over Marcin Hell, too. And uh, I think he beat uh, um, Joe Lozon. If I'm correct. No, yeah, he lost to Marcin Hell. Sorry. Shit. This is only lost. Beat, 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 beat. What the heck was that? The but he beat um, Marcin Held, which is a former Bellator contender. So, he's, yeah. Jim Miller versus Clay Guida. Did you see this one? I heard it was really fast, but good. Yeah, so Jim Miller comes out, it's like controlling distance. Like he landed like a couple jabs, and then Guida hit him with a nasty counter right hand over the top, rocked Miller, and then shot for a takedown. And as he chopped the takedown, Jim Miller just jumped. Grab like did a flying guillotine, locked it in, submitted it. I gotta watch this fight. It was I think it was like fifty six seconds or yeah. something. Yeah, shout out to Jim Miller, big win. He's looking good. Yeah, he's uh, he was on a, like a terrible skid. Now he's on a streak, so it's weird he's seeing dead. these guys. I didn't know he had Lyme disease, man. Yeah, yeah, he's sick. Yeah, and Jim Miller is uh he made it to the twenty club. Yeah, twenty wins. Yep. Uh, all time great lightweight. No. No. Uh, he hasn't beaten me, but like that's true. Mm-hmm. He's beaten some names, but he hasn't been the best names. Yeah. Uh, he, Kobe Covington, my boy, versus Robbie Lawler. <clears throat> did you watch it? I did. I loved it. I watched the third, sorry, <clears throat> the fourth, the fifth round. Fifth round. I was busy. He destroyed him. Yeah, it was. Uh, from what I heard, I think every round went to Kobe. One was ten eight. Yeah, uh, but he didn't do much damage, man. Robbie's face doesn't look like that, though, after, usually. But Kobe's face is pretty beat up, too, after. End of the day, that guy's pressure is insane. Yeah. What but, the hell? But, I mean, people were saying, like, oh, Kobe's uh, stand-up is amazing. No, it's not. He just throws a lot of jabs. Like, he didn't do any damage. He didn't hurt I was anybody. surprised he did stand up quite a bit with Lobby Lawler and do the... Yeah, I think he, but he wasn't taking him down. Like, it wasn't super easy for him to take Lawler well, down. Well, Lawler's never been super easy. Right. So, of course, he's going to have to stand with him at some yeah. point. He, and he looked amazing. Yeah, he did. Uh, like, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, his stand-up didn't look great. He just did he's enough. The guy is, give him credit that he's talking to talk. He didn't do anything stand-up that was impressive other than throw a lot of volume. He didn't damage him. It's his pressure. That's uh, No one's ever done that. RDA dominated. Not like that. It. He won every round. I don't know. But Kobe destroyed RDA, too. So It's true. Right after that fight. So then we... That, I mean, he didn't have to take this fight in four weeks' notice. No, he didn't. So, he was already the contender. And I think it's a really, I don't know, man. I can't, it's a really toss-up between him and Usman. I'm super interested in this fight. I'm super bored by that fight. Two wrestlers, two grapplers that don't want to strike. And they're both going to be hard to take each other down. Usman probably has a little bit more knockout power. Kobe throws a little more volume. It can um, go either way, really. I'd say Usman's a little bit better uh, wrestler. But I think the cardio would favor Kobe. Cardio probably favors Kobe, but Usman's cardio is amazing. He grinded up for five rounds with Tyron. Yeah. Um, it's a toss-up. I don't I favor Usman, but he's coming off of an injury, too, so we'll see. But does anyone really want to see Kobe Covington versus Kamar Usman? I don't. I want to see Masvidal fight one of those guys before I see Kobe in there. I want to see Leon Edwards versus Masvidal. Oh, another boring guy that no one gives a shit about. Wow. Um, did you see um, Kamaru and Kobe get into it? After? Yeah, it was hilarious. It was funny, man. It's hilarious. Um, was there any boxing this weekend? Yeah, there was. Yeah. All right, let's talk about that. So we had a PBC card. Wow, blank card there for a second. Yeah, we had a PBC on Fox card. It uh, started off with I didn't watch the undercard. I only watched the Kobe in the main event. John Pascal versus Marcus Brown. Marcus Brown was the interim WBA and WBC light heavyweight champion. Uh, Marcus Brown was controlling the fight. So the fight only went eight rounds. It was a 12-rounder. First three rounds, Mark, I told you to turn this fight on. I called you and told you to turn it on. First three rounds, Marcus Brown won easy, 10-9 rounds. 
Fourth round comes, John Pascal unleashes a crazy right hand, mm-hmm. counter right hand, drops Marcus Brown. First time he's ever been dropped. So there's two points back. So he's back in the fight. Rounds five, six. Uh, Marcus Brown again, just boxing him smart, just dominating, outworking him, outpointing him, landing some good shots. Round seven comes. Uh, John Pascal, same punch, overhand right, drops him again. He gets up, he's hurt bad this time. Uh, Pascal hits him with like two body shots, and basically, like, Marcus Brown's feet weren't, they hadn't recovered, he got up way too quick, fell down again. Wasn't like a great knockdown, but he knocked, it's a knockdown, so another point. 10 mm-hmm. 7 rounds. So then we're going into the eighth round, they're tied. Because of the point system. Mm-hmm. And they then Pascal, the first minute of the round, Pascal's out working him, doing body work, landing good shots because Marcus Brown's still hurt. And then they have a clash of heads because Marcus Brown's southpaw and Pascal's orthodox. Happens a lot. Splits his Marcus Brown's eye open bad. He's instantly just covered in blood. Mm-hmm. Uh, the fight goes on for another 10, 15 seconds. Uh, the ref stops, uh, brings over his corner, the doctor stops the fight. They have to score that round because it was over halfway done. John Pascal wins the round. John Pascal wins the belt. Weirdest win of all time. Crazy fight. Uh, shout out to John Pascal. He hasn't had a big win since like 2015. Good to see him back. Hmm. In his post-fight interview, he's like, what do you think, John? Like, how do you feel about this? He's like, he's Canadian, first of all. Mm-hmm. So he goes, we got the best basketball team in the world. Best rapper in the world doing it. And I'm bringing the belts back. Oh, he's got the, the triple headed crown or triple crown, Canadian triple crown. So it was just a hype. Oh, yeah. It's a good moment. Even and though he's not the best rapper. <clears throat> I don't know, but he's like the most popular. You think so? Right now, I'd say Drake's the most popular rapper. That's not so unfortunate. I mean, when this guy can't even write his own music. Um, it's pretty bad. That's fair. That's like, fair. you're not a rapper if you can't write your own poetry. I mean, a lot of people don't write their own stuff. Really. Yeah, and you're not a real rapper. Yeah, but it's not rap anymore. That could be another conversation. Mumble rap. I don't, it's mumble rap. I want to have this conversation right now. I'm, just, I'm going to get a tattoo this week, and it's saying, it was all a dream on my hand. Actually? Yeah. That's so, um, shout out to the Notorious B.I.G. That's a real rapper. Tupac. Easy, he's a big rapper. Eminem's a real rapper. Today's society, real rappers would be J. Cole. Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Uh, Kendrick. Big Sean, I'd say, was up there. Eminem. Eminem's the best. The game, 50. The game sucks right now. Yeah, he's not the best. Anyways, um, that's enough about that. No. Let's talk a little more about that. Mumble rap, get the fuck out of here. Brady went on a little tirade right there, a little oh, angry man. rant about right, uh, today's rappers. Rap. But yeah, the, the co- I mean, that was the co main event. In the main event, we had uh, Adam no no wacky I can tell you pronounce it uh fought Chris, he, Ari- Chris Ariola so there was a uh, Nowaki was undefeated He's from Poland originally moved to Brooklyn when he was like seven does anyone care it was a good fight man did you see the the numbers it was the highest she's fart no Jesus every video eh Fuck, you'll know you had, call yourself smell your armpits you shower it had the mo- most punches Ever thrown in a heavyweight belt, and the most punches landed in a heavyweight belt. So what does that make me think? C T E three letters. That is not good. Heavyweight should not be throwing over a thousand punches each, landing like over three hundred each. Like that's a little ridiculous. Uh, these dudes were destroyed after that fight. Amazing fight. Good win for Adam Nowaki. Um, he's got to step up the competition now. All right, we're gonna skip this one right here. What? Floyd back in training because that's this. You don't think that's important? That Floyd's back in training. He's all this shit being said with Manny Pacquiao, and now he's back in training. What do you think's gonna happen? No. We're gonna see May 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 Pac too. That's basically what's gonna happen. All right, but we're gonna also talk about Shavanko versus Carmouche too this week. Bro, we gotta talk. There's other topics we have to talk about before we talk about what the fuck can we fight? You wait. Cyborg. I was gonna do that after. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's get the cards over with, and then mm-hmm. we have some important news for these people. All right. I got this all on point. Don't worry. All right. right, Since this is such a shitty card. Oh, boy. So, title fight on free TV. Is it ESPN or ESPN Plus? It's ESPN Plus. All right. So, uh... First time in the UFC's gone to Uruguay? Yeah, with a shit card. The other Shevchenko sister, the champion. We got Tisha Torres on the... Why is she in a preliminary? You need her for a little bit of, like, superstar for the main card, right? All right, Tisha Torres fighting 
Marina Rodriguez. Never heard of her. Gets Tisha Torres a win. Uh, what else do we got? We got uh, Vulcan Ozdemir versus Lira Tifi. That's the fight I care about the most. It's an interesting fight. I uh, think uh, Vulcan will beat him up. Vulcan knocks him out in the second round. Yeah. Uh, we got Vincent Luik versus Mike Perry, which this should be the main event. Because I think Mike Perry beats the shit out of him. Vincent Luik is a good fighter. Mike Perry is a psychopath. But uh, Mike Perry should get a hedge, put him in the top 15 for once. Which would be nice. I'm interested in watching Valentina Perry, but... Shevchenko, the 125 flyweight women's champion. Fighting Liz the Bum Carmouche. She's already lost to Liz Carmouche, though. I want their... That's the only reason they're doing this fight, though. Yeah. And Liz... There's nothing else relevant. And Liz Carmouche's coming in off of a good win, isn't she? She's coming off a couple, like, two wins. Yeah. But still, she's old. And, uh... Yeah. And the thing is, Liz Carmouche is going to try to grapple her ass. Um, I don't know. I think... Valentina knocks her out this time. In the second round. But, uh, I mean, we've seen rematches usually favor the person that won the first time, so that's yeah. it's interesting. So I just clicked on this by accident in two weeks or next week. Cormier versus Stipe. But, yeah, oh anyways, I think uh, Valentina gets a dub second round knockout. Head yeah. kick. Can we just skip to next week already? No. Knowing him, he'll be in Toronto, though, because... You're not, he won't watch this with the yeah, comment. I don't, I, don't, I don't like UFC, man. I don't watch fighting. He's staying. Cat, <laughs> he's staying in for this card. It's on the 10th, right? 17th. 17th, yeah. You better I'll, make sure I'll be here. Yeah, I'll be here. We'll be at the boss of pizza in that pan nookie. Hopefully, okay, anyways. With, with Brad Box. Shout out to Boxy. All right. Might be in Japan. Oh, but what yeah. do you think about um, Cyborg situation? It's messed up that she made a video that kind of threw it off. But you know what? Dana White's a dick. The yeah. Manderley Silva comments? And yeah. Shit. Yeah, he's like, so that's cool. old. It's old, but he still said it. True. He, they, said, he said that she looks like Vanderlei Silva in a dress. That's aggressive. End of the day, um, she's, I don't know what to think of it, honestly. She's like, the most popular female fighter on the planet right now. She's not the best. Nunez is the best. But people know the name Cyborg before they recognize the name Nunez. Oh, for sure. So, um, I mean. I, I want the rematch. I want Dana the rematch, White's too. kind of being a dick, taking his ego. Basically, what I don't think they're not gonna. Bro, he said they're not gonna resign her. Yeah, she's not coming back. That's his ego, though. That's his. Yeah, but he doesn't need her. Like she's thirty four. She's at the end of her career. I mean, let's all remember though, going into the first Nunes fight, which was this year, it was in twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. She was the regarded as the best female fighter of all time. So like, her being like half a year older shouldn't be that much of a difference. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. People are saying, oh, she's 34 at the end of her career. Okay, yeah, I guess she's 34, but like. She's also in great shape. She's also in great shape, but women, uh, you, I think women's prime is earlier and shorter than men because mm-hmm. of like the hormonal changes they go through. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. Because they also mature faster than men do. So they reach their peak higher, uh, sure. quicker, and they also would like come, they taper off faster. I think this fight will come into fruition in worth. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think uh, we're going to see Shevchenko versus Nunes, the trilogy, but, which is stupid because Nunes already beat her twice. Or do you think that uh, look at Felicia Spencer for a title shot? For, who losing? else is that featherweight? For getting her ass kicked? I know, but who else is that featherweight? I, not, they're not giving it to Felicia Spencer. which just literally got beat every round for five rounds. I think they're going to if Megan Anderson wins her next fight, even though she, she'll get a title shot. Okay, then she gets beat up. Yeah. Um, the cyborg situation is tragedy. I mean, hopefully she, wherever she ends up going, I hope she gets paid well. Um, Bellator and one of her would be very happy to have her. I think Bellator would be the best. Her versus uh, Julia Budd would be a war. Right. Yeah. That's true. That's um, true. Yeah. That's too bad. And that's pretty much it. Uh, BJ Penn. And I think they're going to give it to uh, Jermaine Duran when we have to have the again. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, BJ Penn. Uh, Nick Lentz is like, I'm gonna. Did you watch it? Yeah, the the beef they had. But it's true. He's like, I'm gonna do you a favor and put him. In. Why is this guy getting seven losses and allowed to fight? It's not fair. It, he's his name. He sells. He hasn't fought on the main card like in like three or four years or something though. Um, it's too bad. Like, be, like BJ Penn. He so BJ Penn would had to promise Dana White this would be his last fight. You know, win, lose, draw. No contest, doesn't show up, doesn't make weight, doesn't matter. This is your last fight. We can't, we can't have this anymore. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like we don't need the senior citizens division in combat sports. We don't need to see 42-year-old Floyd Mayweather come back and fight. 
But I'm Wait, ju- I'm just, just saying. You don't think if BJ comes out smoke sticks lens with the right hand, they're gonna melt the shit out of it? And he, I guarantee he'd be in a main event next. Man, I don't think Dana White. This is his last fight on his contract, is it not? I have no idea. If even if it's not, like I don't, I don't see him fighting in the UFC. He might fight Bellator in the Senior Bowl. That makes more sense. They do that. They hire. They they always hire these old dudes. But eight losses. Have you ever heard of that from no. like a guy who's considered to be one of no. the greatest? No, no. Like I know bad, but like. Eight losses. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. I don't know. I think uh, he's not beating Nick. Lenz this is his last fight in the UFC. Maybe not his last fight ever, but this is his last fight in the UFC. Yes, hundred percent. But Nick Lentz is going to destroy him. Probably, yeah. Nick Lentz is a good fighter. Yeah. Ten years ago, they wouldn't even like that. You couldn't even put those two in the same sentence, though. Which now, is a shame. He's losing to Ryan Hall and Clay Guida, and ooh, ooh. That's tragic. Actually, Ryan Hall's a good contender coming up. I guess, but his style is so ugly. I, I love Ryan Hall. Shout out to everyone with Tourette's. Shout out um, to people with the ankle pick. All right, what do you got, Brady? Canelo. Yep, what about him? A little bit of suing going on? Yeah, so did you hear about that? No. Okay, so the IBF stripped Canelo of oh, I've seen that, his yeah. middleweight belt because Golden Boy didn't come to... Uh, Agreement with their fighting the mandatory Durvin, Durvin, Sergey Dervichenko. So basically, Kyle was pissed off that Golden Boy let that happen, and then he's pissed off now because he was promised a third Triple G fight by the Zone, and Triple G was promised a third Canelo fight by Golden Boy and the Zone, and Golden Boy's like beating around the bush. It's not it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. If it doesn't happen, it's not gonna happen until at least next year. Uh, so yeah, basically, Canelo's like, Canelo wants to fight Triple G? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Why not? He's already fought him twice. Why wouldn't you want to fight him again? Hmm. Um, so he's taking legal action against Canelo. So, I mean, against uh, Golden Boy. So that's huge because Golden Boy is only relevant in boxing right now because they have Canelo. So if he goes away from them, Golden Boy promotions is kind of like Bye. not really important. You'll probably sign with like Match Room or something. Uh, and looks like we're probably going to see that Triple G trilogy fight, which is sweet. Hmm. But he's losing all his belts, eh? He lost the WBC. Now he's the franchise champion. Now he lost the IBF. So he's got the WBA and the WBC franchise belt. Does he have the IBO? I don't know. I don't think so. Hmm. And because Andre has the WBA. No, he, has, he beat Rocky Fielding for the IBO. WBA regular. That's a super middleweight, though. Oh, okay. Different weight class. Yeah. Does he have to defend that? Probably. Yeah. At some point. I don't know, man. I want to see him fight um, Andre, Andre or Triple G. That's it. I don't want to see anything else. I don't want to hear about anything else. I'm sick of it. There's no one will make it happen, though. There's no one puts on a good fights. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's weird. By Oscar. Um, Any uh, fight announcements? Yeah, so big fight this week. Makes sense because he's supposed to be the guy who beats uh, John Jones. Johnny Walker versus Anderson. Corey Anderson, not Anderson Silva. Corey Anderson, and Corey Anderson's a beast. He is. He has some words with John Jones uh, on an autograph side. I know, but I think Corey Anderson might pull the upset. I don't wrestling. think it's an upset. I think he will beat Johnny Walker. You Johnny do? Walker's beat bombs, man. He beat, like, uh, what's that dude, uh, that Canadian guy he beat? Marcin Tabira? Or? No, no, no. The, uh, he beat some Canadian guy. His last fight out. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah. No. Uh, Johnny Walker, I did feel he was good until I seen a random video of him getting knocked the hell out, and it was brutal. With Johnny Walker? Oh, yeah. Get knocked out? Pretty bad. Oh, interesting. So, that was before the UFC? Yeah, right before, yeah. And, uh, it, looked, it just... I don't. I just think uh, Johnny Walker's getting this hype for like knocking out guys that shouldn't even be in the UFC. But uh, yeah, he's only top fifteen too. He, I don't think Corey Anderson's a beast. He just beat Alir Latifi, and he beat somebody else good before that. He beat Glover. Yeah, I don't. I think I think Corey Anderson gets it done pretty easily, to be honest. Yeah. You can't be jumping around. And, and uh, Johnny Walker's coming off what a huge rotator cuff injury. Big. Has fought in a minute. It's been a while. If he beats Johnny, and people are going to say he deserves a title shot if he beats, but he's not. He doesn't deserve a title shot. No, no. He needs at least two, three wins. I think you got Chris Weidman in the division now. If Chris Weidman beats uh, 
Dominic Reyes, that's a good contender. For that him. is a nice fight. I think Dominic Reyes gets his ass kicked, to be honest. But then Dominic again, Dominic Reyes, it depends if, uh, well, Wyman might have a better chin. It's 20 pounds more. I agree, but we also thought Luke Rockhold coming up was going to be a monster, too. So, so I think Luke Rockhold's career was a little, a little more on the downfall for some reason. Interesting, because he already he has a win over Wyman. That's yeah. Like that's, a dominant win over Wyman. kind of looking like Fluke now, though. Um,. Yeah, I think that's about it for this weekend. We might have uh, Aldo versus McGregor in talks for 244. I don't even know how I feel about that fight. Depends if it's a lightweight or featherweight. I think, I think it has to be a lightweight. Yeah. It's probably the right move for Aldo anyways. He's kind of done it, by the way. I don't, yeah. I don't think anyone wants to see him fight again for another title. Like, if he had to beat Volkanovski in that last fight, okay, yeah, sure. Put him in for the title fight. But now he lost to Volkanovski. He's kind of down in the queue. He's going to have to fight like guys like Zabi. And, I mean, that's a doable win for him, but, like, mm-hmm. does anybody really want to see that? Um, he's got to fight, like, Brian Ortega. That's a tough fight. Mm-hmm. Korean Zombie. He's already beat Korean Zombie, hasn't he? No. You never fought Zombie? Yeah. Oh, yes, he did. He took his arm off. Yeah, he gave him in the shoulder, yeah. Um, it's true. There's nothing really out. Nothing really there. And he might be a different animal. He's young at lightweight. Yeah. So. I mean, there'd be, there's definitely good fights from there at lightweight. Absolutely. Like to see. He'd be top ten. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Him versus Dustin Poirier. If Poirier loses to uh, that'd be Khabib, that'd be a crazy fight. Mm-hmm. I think Poirier might upset though. Hey, he's a big ass lightweight. I don't know how that dude made one forty five. I don't. I don't know how he's gonna take. Like, people forget how good Poirier is off his back too. So and he's really tough to take down. Oh, for sure. Um, but that's about it for this weekend. Yeah, I mean, we have some Chavez Junior fighting this weekend. We have next. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, Carl Frampton. Carl Hopefully, Frampton. he gets back in the winning ways. We'll. Uh, Keep you updated on how that goes. Absolutely. Roy Jones should be fighting soon. Oh, Lord. I can't believe he retired and he's already back. He's 50 years old. Let it go, Roy. Stop. At least he's winning. The he's longer he picks. waits, the longer he waits to retire, the longer he gets put, we have to wait till he gets put in the Hall of Fame. So let's just remember that. Is that in the Hall of Fame? Yet? No, because in boxing, you have to be retired for, I think it's eight years, so, you know, five years, till, and they'll, because they don't want this shit with the current fighters going Hall of Fame. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's true. The Hall of Fame or BJ Penn? Yeah, like what? The he, Hall of Fame or your IFA? Like, get the fuck out of here. You shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. You're already you're still fighting. Randy yeah. Couture came in retirement won the belt again. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's ridiculous. All right. But that's about it for this weekend. And we'll be, be in touch. We'll talk to you guys next week. All right. Bye. Peace.